At Stanford, innovation is in our DNA. From pioneering the first kidney transplant and the first adult heart transplant, to cultivating the leaders who have started some of the most influential technology companies of our time. Stanford has always been at the cutting edge of discovery and opportunity. Other organizations, excellent top tier health systems and medical schools have an interest and focus on innovation. Stanford, we have an obsession. I think AI has, if anything, the most potential to transform ambulatory care. AI can just play a huge role in being able to outfit not only the provider, but the patient with what it is that they need in order to have a high quality and appropriate care experience. And artificial intelligence holds the opportunity for a historic expansion of our ability to provide care by acting as a care multiplier for doctors and nurses today. We train clinicians at great expense uh, and over long periods of time, and then we make them do a lot of repetitive and routine tasks. And I think there's a great opportunity for automation, machine intelligence to take away a lot of that so clinicians can focus on the core purpose of caring for people. We are the Stanford Healthcare AI Applied Research Team, or HART for short. Our mission is to bring cutting edge artificial intelligence technologies from code to bedside in support of the quadruple aim. Our singular focus is on studying and solving practical problems in healthcare today using artificial intelligence by empowering physicians to provide better care, deliver better patient experiences while lowering healthcare costs. If you consider the world of drug discovery several decades ago, there was this enormous gap between scientists in the lab making breakthrough discoveries and the physicians at the front lines treating patients at the bedside. And it wasn't until the concept of translational research came about that we were finally able to realize the potential of those life-saving discoveries by moving them from bench to bedside. The exact same problem is happening in healthcare AI today, and that is why I created HEART. We are at a time in healthcare where data is ubiquitous. We have access to cloud computing. And so novel computational methods, such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, have all really changed the game of medicine. The simulation lab is really a big step forward for the Department of Medicine, for Stanford Medicine, because it's really gonna allow us to think about how do we put these tools into practice? Can we mimic a clinical setting and begin to think about with all the tools that we now have available, can we take better care of our patients? I think our simulation lab will act as a unique venue where we can more easily involve patients, health system staff, and students in the process of designing and developing health AI technologies, allowing them to provide their insights to health technology companies and research teams. We also have two real-world simulation exam rooms that have state-of-the-art simulation hardware and software that allow synchronous observation and analysis in a command center observation room that is immediately adjacent to those simulation rooms so that you can watch and observe live during a simulation. The audio and visual data is automatically going up into the cloud and that allows for immediate playback as well as future analyses to understand what was going on during that simulation and how that can inform future iterations of the technology as well as the workflow surrounding that technology. One of the tenets of quality improvement is going to the process to observe, to Gemba, and having a simulation center allows us to do that in the context of a healthcare setting that doesn't necessarily take away from or impede clinical care. At heart, we take a highly multidisciplinary approach to our research, drawing on methods and techniques from quality improvement, design thinking, implementation science, as well as human factors engineering. It starts by first defining a clinically relevant problem that matters to a patient, provider, or health system, and then assessing whether or not an AI solution would help or add value or help solve that problem. The barriers to get new procedures, new workflows, new technologies, and AI into an actual clinical setting are actually very high. It requires 
consenting patients, having a controlled environment, not disrupting care in a way that can be harmful. So having a facility where those activities can be simulated is incredibly valuable. It also gives us the opportunity to trial different technologies, different technologies together, and different workflows. So the flexibility of the space itself just has infinite possibilities as we partner with others to transform the ambulatory environment of tomorrow. And I think it enables an ecosystem of working with uh, partners and newer companies that would be really impossible in an operational framework. And now with this simulation lab, we have an environment and a model that will help us translate which systems are most useful and will help us improve the care of our patients. From code to bedside, that is our vision.